Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Owens with Rosti, and we are here in my second home, the FitStop CrossFit in San Antonio. And today I wanna to go over some preparation movements that you can do when getting ready for the deadlift. Let's get started. When we're doing a deadlift, in simplest terms, we're picking a weight or an object up from the ground to a upright or extended position. And that utilizes a lot of what's called our posterior chain, which is our hamstrings, our glutes, and our lower back. Now, even though the deadlift can be a very, very effective tool when it comes to exercise and fitness, if done improperly, it can also be a detrimental movement that leads to, unfortunately, pain and injury. So our goal is to prevent that by giving you some preparation tools to work with when you're getting ready for the deadlift. Using our foam roller, we can help to get the muscles ready for the deadlift. So we wanna start sitting in front of the roller with our arms across our chest, lift our hips, and begin to roll up and down through that mid and upper part of your low back. We're looking for tight, tender areas here or something that just feels a little different than the areas around it. We wanna spend a little bit of time there just working through those muscles until they start to feel normal. You can also work off to the side of our lower back getting down a little bit closer to our pelvis. Just don't go directly to the middle of your low back. Try to stay off to the side a little bit. And we'll get both sides right and left. Then we'll move down to our glutes or the muscles in the back of the hip, keeping the legs in front or crossing over for a little bit more of an expanded version. And then lastly, we wanna get into our hamstrings, rolling both legs inside, outside, even stacking the leg again, looking for tight, tender areas and spending about three to five minutes in total. So for this activity, we're gonna use a PVC pipe and an elastic band tied off on a sturdy surface. We're gonna keep the PVC pipe close to our hips and engage these muscles in our upper back to keep the bar close to us. From here, we're gonna bend our knees, start to slide down towards the shins. Again, keeping the PVC pipe in contact with the body and then come back to an upright position. Again, soft bend in our knees, hinge down, lower towards the shins, and then right back up to where we began. Remembering to keep the PVC pipe in contact and not letting it fly away. For this activity, we're gonna use our PVC pipe. We're gonna place it on our back, having three points of contact, our hips, our mid back, and the back of our head. From here, we're gonna do a soft bend in our knees, and then shoot the hips backwards as we hinge forwards. The goal here is to feel tension start to build in the hamstrings without losing any contact points with the pipe. From here, we'll stand back up to our upright position. And again, repeat, hinging forward, feeling tension in the hamstrings, and standing back up to the top. As you perform these, you should notice that your hinge gets a little bit further each time, getting those muscles nice and ready to pick up that barbell. And now that you've performed all the things necessary for a proper deadlift, you should be able to perform with no trouble.